Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, web management portal to manage always home asset and uh, your configuration for that. So the first step is to get on the website www.homingsystems.com and you will find on the right side, there's the button uh, called manage. That's how you get in here. The account you're going to use for login uh, for Indiegogo backers is going to be the same Indiegogo email you use. Um, but the first time you got in here, uh, you can use the forgot password function to reset the password to log into this management portal. Um, but you, if you have an app already created with that email, uh, have set a password for that app, you can use the same password here. Uh, forgot email is simple, standard, just type in your email here uh, and then send password reset. You're going to get email and in that email there's a link. Click on it and then type in the new password. Uh, that will get the password reset. Okay, let's get back to the business. So here we have account uh, set up uh, for showing the ideas. Um, so just type in log in the password Okay, so this is our typical setup. It's actually a default setup for the dual basic package that you got from Indiegogo. Uh, basically, there are two dongles included plus one lifelong subscription license. So the two dongles are having the serial number, uh, the 5A on the back, the first one, uh, then the next one has 5B on the back. Um, and also this subscription license here, you can see uh, uh, it goes to a long time in the, in the future. Um, the form actually shows three sections, the home proxy that indicating the dongle or the device you're gonna set up at home and the subscription license is gonna have a device associated with it and the, uh, the device is gonna attach to the home proxy. So all the assets are here. There are also the email, which is the same uh, account name, uh, which are not in use uh, because it doesn't have a uh, subscription license associated with it. So they're in the um, inactive state, not in use state. So that's an overview of the default setup when the first time you jump in. So let's try to play with it. Um, first of all, let's see. Right now, the remote dongle is this one, and it's connecting to this one, which is a home proxy dongle. Uh, this is the default. Suppose, okay, let's try to play with it. First, suppose you want to switch the role of these two dongles. You want to use the 5B dongle to be the home proxy, and the other one as the remote dongle. You can do that. Um, you do that by doing, first of all, we change this we just change the 5B to be a home proxy. Okay, now both dongles are home proxy and you want to use the 5A uh, as a remote dongle. It's just type in here, the pan lag symbol indicating the field is editable. So you just click on it and choose the 5A here and then update. So this dongle is taking the subscription license but it's not connecting to the home dongle yet, the 5B home dongle. It is by default connecting one of our US server here it shows. Um, then you just choose the 5B in this connect to field. Okay, now we have it. So this 5A are connecting to 5B. So it just switch the rows of these two dongles. Okay, another example is Suppose I want to use the app account on my mobile device to connect to the home proxy directly. Um, so I'm gonna taking away the subscription license from the remote dongle. I'm uh, gonna apply that to the uh, app account, which is this demo at homeassistant.com. Uh, it's very easy to do. I just change the ID here. I just see there's the option here. Say update. Okay, again, 
even the ID field is updated, the uh, connect to field is not updated. So let's just change that to the flight B home proxy. There we go. So we have this app account connect to the home proxy right here. Um, another example would be how about I have two homes, the 5B are in New York, uh, the 5A are in Los Angeles. I want to be able to connect to one of them as I specify here. So I can do that. I can make the 5A a home proxy. Okay, now I have two home proxies here, 5A and 5B. Um, my app account are connect is connected to this 5B home proxy. Uh, suppose I want to change that to Los Angeles in 5A. I can do this. Okay, changed. All right. Um, another example would be, how about I want to have another home proxy which runs on my own hardware um, in the city, for example, San Diego. The way to do it, I can enroll my email uh, here. Let's see. Com. Uh, I have to type this email has been created uh, from the app uh, installed on the cell phone or your mobile phone. You can register uh, your account there. Um, we just use it here. Oops. Oh, I think I typed the wrong password. I just, I, oops, slip the finger, sorry. I don't know why we need to type in the password twice. Uh, maybe I'll have to remove that. Uh, but anyway, so I just registered, uh, actually include this here. Uh, when it got in here is in the uh, not in use column, uh, not in use row actually. So um, we'll make it a home proxy. Let's update. <coughs> and now we have a home proxy running. Uh, you can use your cell phone or use the cell phone or swing box or whatever the hardware that capable of being a home proxy and log in with this account with a password and the connect then you have a running home proxy there this one is I was just mentioned earlier in San Diego for example now I want to connect my app account this one to the San Diego proxy I can do that from here boom I have it okay so now we have three home proxies in three cities when I travel I can connect my app account back to either one of them or any one of them as I, I like um, you know this I believe not everyone need this but this is a example just showing the capability and the flexibility of this interface uh, it's still a little bit uh, preliminary. Uh, we're gonna add more functions in the f in the future, <coughs> but basically this covers what we can need. Uh, we, we're, we're gonna do with that. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Let us know. Uh, send us email to support at homingsystem.com. Whenever you have any doubts or any questions or any suggestions, don't hesitate. Just send us email. Thank you so much.